Hi, it's Balash from Alpha Forever here, and this is AF noding number 29. And today we are going to fix the clock. And actually, the clock is not broken. There's no problems with it. It just has a minor minor uh, flow flow, which is not uh, a problem because this is the way it's meant to work in VSTs. But let me show you what it is, and then we will fix it or enhance it because that's not a fix because this is not working bad. We can just make it even better. So. The issue is that if I put a modulo behind this and constrain the output values between of this clock between 0 and 1 and set the frequency of the scope to 1 then uh, we will see that this is stepped so it's not a straight line, it's not continuous it has a, a lower uh, sampling rate than the audio signal so we we, 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 we should I think we should do something about this if we are using this for rhythmic stuff so let me turn on the metronome of a button and run the two things together I think that you can hear that the two uh, metronomes were not in sync, so... But we can fix this, so there's a solution for this. And uh, the clock is absolutely not broken, so this is the way it should work. This way this uh, unit does not cost uh, almost any CPU, so it's pretty fast. And uh, the host does not uh, give us the um, sample, the, the, the uh, clock in audio resolution. But we can work on it, so we will need a BPM sync node. And what do we need? I don't know. Let's go and do it, and we will, we will solve it in the meantime. So the basic idea is to, to create a ramp. So we will increment. Yeah, and we will need a sample rate node as well because we will need a sample rate. So... Oh, sorry. So we have these ramps here. Let me module the clock so we stay between 0 and 1 and do not go away into crazy ranges. So we have our ramp and we want to fill these uh, uh, straight lines with with a ramp that's the same depth as the <coughs> the signal, and we can do this by simply multiplying the uh, output of the uh, sample rate, the reciprocal of the sample rate with the with the one with the quarter note frequency, and if we increment the signal, then yeah. This line looks a lot like uh, what we need. So let me put a change note here. So whenever this signal, the clock changes, we will reset the incrementer. And let's play it. And we have small small ramps this way and if we add this ramp to the to the original signal to the original clock and plug this into the B input here we go we have the straight lines and actually we fixed the clock this clock is as smooth as uh, it can be so this is pretty uh, much sample rate and it it adapts to any tempo so ca I can change the tempo and it's always nice and it won't jitter at all. So I remove this module from here. I just plug this there. So we have the clock there and use a con here. Like this. And 
I move this to the side and this way we see that what we could create and where. And now I'm simply going to put this inside the designer. I'm gonna call it smooth clock. Like this. And this will simply output uh, the clock. And then I can delete everything else. And we have the clock. And this clock has an advantage as well. And the advantage is that if the transport is not playing, the clock will work as an internal clock. So uh, until now, if we use the clock, we need to play the transport to to actually have some some clock. Now we don't need it with this because this generates a, a ramp internally and it's BPM, BPM sync. Uh, to step it, we will need something that reads the transport, but uh, that node will come in a later update, and maybe we will also put this little unit into a uh, um, separate node and hard code it. Okay, let's test this crack. And I'm gonna create the same oscillator as before. I'm going to truncate the crack. Check for a change. This way we will have a trigger at each uh, quarter note. Use an envelope follower modulated so we create a tail for it. Use an oscillator multi as a sound source. I think it was on 48 pitch and I pitched it up to as much as I was able to and use the sine wave. I didn't keep the original before but I don't think this makes this causes any problems for us and there we go drag this into input 2 as well and we can see that we have a clock and it works without playing So yes, as you can hear, it works uh, fine. It's uh, it's pretty smooth, and uh, and we do not hear any jittering. So this is our crack, and this is the node you we get. We simply uh, add a small ramp to the to the input of the crack and add it to it and. Reset the ramp whenever the clock changes, so we can add it simply by by adding. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you have fun. With, you had fun watching this tutorial, and I hope it made it will make sense for you and that it will be useful. And uh, basically, that's it for today. And yeah, this was a short uh, episode, but uh, a very useful one, at least I think so. So, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, Happy noting and bye bye.